Do we start now? Yeah, go. Right. Hi, my name's uh, Renoff Tomanga. I'm 24. I'm currently at the Canterbury. Bro, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Canterbury. <laughs> Sully, stop laughing, man. <laughs> so, start again. Fresh. <laughs> Can't do this with this guy. <laughs> Alright, you go first then. No, nah, no, nah, you go. Right. You're doing good, bro. <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Renoff Tomanga. I'm 24. I'm currently at the Canterbury Bulldogs. Um, I came here when I was about 17. Moved over from Wellington, New Zealand. And yeah, been here since. Nice, Jay. Hi, I'm Christian Crowder. Um, yeah, I'm at the Bulldogs as well. I uh, came from Penrith Panthers. I'm a Penrith Panther junior. And um, yeah, I'm now at uh, the Canterbury Blackstown Bulldogs. Uh, some advice I'd give some of the younger boys is uh, to find something you are passionate about and really work towards it because if you don't have something after footy then I don't think you have nothing. Yeah, like footy won't last long, a good career goes for about 10 years, Yeah, that's a good career you know, if you can stay in the game that long but after that like when reality hits, you don't want to be going back to, you know, to a factory job. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it, but like going back to, you know, to something that you don't love doing. You know, I think we've seen now with players that do finish and f have nothing to fall back on. Mm. It hits them hard because they go from the footy life of having everything. Being high. Yeah, being up there to then oh, what am I going to do with my life now? And it's harder to start then. Um, once it's, I wouldn't say it's too late, but you know, if you if you start now when you're young and starting your career off, it can really set you up, you know, to transition from footy life to real life, I guess. I think it's very important for young athletes to, to be doing some sort of study. Uh, I feel like our careers only go for so long, so we've got to figure out what we're going to do after footy. And um, we, we actually have a lot of resources and help, especially in the NRL clubs. And uh, yeah, they help us to get these courses done. So yeah, why not use it? Hard. It took me a while to, you know, um, figure out to myself that I, I should probably start studying something because um, I think just, I don't know, um, realizing that, uh, you know, footy doesn't, like what Ren said, it doesn't go forever and obviously I'm having a um, a baby soon and you know uh, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do after football and uh, yeah. To be honest I think taking so long to decide what I want to do after footy was probably the dumbest thing I've done so far but uh, I think it's just um, it's done some dumb stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think just trying to pick something on what I'm passionate about. Um, I think once I found something that I'm passionate about, I think I put my head down and yeah. Oh, I chose the fitness course because I um, I love everything to do with training, um, fitness. I love training. Mm. And um, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I you know too. why I chose. This, I chose this because I was passionate about helping people achieve their goals. And I feel like with fitness it's a good platform and it's a good start for um, for me to help people anyways. Yeah. No. I think compared to uh, doing this course, compared to doing it outside football or coming from a school environment, it's different. Like in heaps of uh, different ways, it's, I reckon it's, it's more fun. Yeah. You get to do it with uh, boys that you train with every day. Um, I don't know. What else? I don't think you should feel like you're too dumb to do yeah. a course or this course yeah. in particular. Like for me, I dropped out of school <laughs> at like year 12. So mm. I didn't finish school. So like, you don't have to be the smartest bloke. But I think as long as you're doing something, you know, it helps. Yeah. I guess like getting the course under your belt yeah. like helps. Yeah.
don't be discouraged to not study because maybe like you didn't finish school or like you feel like you're not the smartest person in the room. Yeah. I think that should encourage you more than anything. I think I was in school for footy. That was it. Mm, <laughs> grateful. <laughs> I'd definitely recommend this course to um, other athletes. Uh, for myself, I found it's um, it's taught me a lot about you know obviously training, nutrition, and um, mm. recovery and everything. It helps me with my with my game now. Like being a current player, it's helped me learn a lot about you know what to eat, um, whether I'm training right, uh, whether I'm training too much, and also like my rest that I get away <coughs> from training. I feel the courses help me. Um, as an NRL player, or as, a, as an athlete, be a better athlete. Yeah, I definitely would recommend this to other athletes. Um, I feel like you get a better understanding of what you're doing in your career, as well as how you can help other people. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate this course. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, Leon's been a big help for me. Um, and I know the other boys as well. Uh, it's really encouraging and helps us uh, just helps us learn about more new stuff every every week. Every week he comes in and it's always got a good attitude towards us as well. So it helps heaps. Yeah, and I think um, he approaches it as you don't have to be the smartest. Yeah. You know, like to learn about these things, he um, helps us a lot with um, understanding it from a football point of view. Yeah. Not only that, but like, yeah just makes it easier, helps us understand it. Yeah, and shuts us feet occasionally. Mm. It helps. Mm. <laughs> uh, dream job for me. To be honest, since I was a kid, I probably wanted to be like a firefighter. I don't know if that's a thing for kids. Did you? Huh? Is that not a thing? You don't see yeah. mm. <laughs> I don't know, I just... <laughs> I feel like you can help the community and look cool while doing it. Can you I put guess? this fire up? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the camera. Oh, yes. I see. Oh, yeah, my um, my dream job is um, to like open something like an academy where I can work with um, athletes, rugby league based, um, to, yeah, focus on like um, training things like that like specific for their position and things like that yeah. I think for young Polynesian kids it's a stereotype that we just play footy and that's it and I feel like we can now with the platform we've got as athletes as well like we can break their stereotype with um, like studying and stuff like with everything that NRL gives us like right now there's no excuse for us not to study. Yeah. So they've built a good foundation for us to start. I think the advice I'd give uh, young kids, if if, uh, if I were to say something to them, is to, like what Ren said: find something you're passionate about, um, and you know, do it. You know, study it. Uh, use use the resources that uh, that you have, and do something that you love doing. You know, uh, I think life's too short. Or too long to be doing something that you know, enjoy for the rest of your life. So, yeah. yeah, true. I think I'm pretty similar to that. If there were kids here and I got to say something to them, it would be like, something you're passionate about. And um, I guess always show love for other people because with everything going on in the world right now, I feel like it's too much hate and shit. Hey, my name is Renov Tomanga. I play for the Canterbury Bulldogs and I'm making my tomorrow better than today. Hi, my name is Christian Crowden from the Canterbury Bagstown Bulldogs and I'm making my tomorrow better than today.